Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create a light wrap in After Effects. So first of all I've got this still frame that we're going to use, just a very basic scene and then we've got our famous teapot from 3ds Max that I'm going to use, very simple stuff. So first of all I'm going to drag my still frame into a new composition and uh, let's just zoom out here a bit and then I'm going to drag my teapot on top of that. So teapot is basically the foreground and the still frame is the background. So I'm going to rename these just to make it a bit easier. So the still frame I'm going to rename to BG for background and then the teapot I will rename to FG for foreground. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to duplicate your background layer. So I'm going to click on BG and I'm going to press command D to duplicate that. And then I'm going to move that duplicated layer right to the top and I'm going to rename that to light wrap. Okay, then I'm going to solo this top layer. So I'm just going to hide these two at the bottom. And then on that top layer, I'm going to right click, go to effect, and I'm going to go to channel. And then we're going to add a set matte effect. Okay, so on the properties of that effect, where it says uh, take matte from layer, I'm going to select my foreground, which is the teapot. And then you will get something like that. So basically it's using the matte from the teapot, but it's displaying the background. Next, what we want to do is we want to add a blur effect to that light wrap layer. So I'm going to right click, go to blur and sharpen, and I'm going to add a fast blur. Okay, I'm going to set the blurriness to around 10. You can play with this value, but let's just start with 10. And then what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the set matte layer. So I'm going to highlight set matte and press command D on my keyboard to duplicate that. And then the duplicated layer, I'm going to move down below the fast blur effect. So basically we've got set matte, fast blur and set matte again. And then very importantly, what we want to do is you want to invert your top set matte. So the top set matte, just click on invert matte and then you will get something like this. So let's just zoom in here a little bit more and then you can see that a little better. So now what we can do is we can play with the blurriness. So if I increase this, you'll see that it will increase the amount of light wrap that we have here. So increased will make it bigger and decrease will make that light wrap a little bit smaller. So you can play with this. I'm going to leave it at around, say, 25. That should be good. And then I'm going to unhide these two other layers. All right, so now we've got our light wrap over the top of this image. And if I switch this on and off, and if you look at this teapot, you'll see that the edges will, it will look like it's a little bit softer, and it will also look like that the light from behind it is actually wrapping around this teapot. So that's with it switched off and that's with it switched on. So another thing that you can do is you can change the transfer mode of this light wrap layer. So I'm going to change it to screen um, and you can play around with different transfer modes and see which one works the best for you. Um, another thing that you can do is you can play with the opacity of that light wrap, maybe just to fine tune the intensity. So let's just set it somewhere in the middle and then obviously you can still play with the blurriness of that light wrap to just change the size and the blurriness of the light coming around the object. So a really simple effect to do in After Effects, but it really helps to sell your scene if you're doing some compositing work. Also really helpful when you're doing chroma keying work. So before I go, I just want to tell you guys that I might start doing some Nuke tutorials in the near future. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in some basic Nuke tutorials. Obviously, the Foundry released a free non-commercial version of Nuke. And I will put a link in the description where you can go and you can download Nuke for free. Really awesome, awesome visual effects software. And I'm actually still busy learning it as well. So let me know if you guys would be interested in doing some very basic Nuke tutorials as well. Cool, thanks a lot for watching and if you like this one, give me a thumbs up and remember to click on subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers, bye.